When we say somebody is motivated, it means they have an agenda of their own. No, no, you're just a piece of life, don't take yourself too seriously. A human being should strive to become a full-fledged human being. These all our businesses. If what you're doing is significant enough, you don't need any other thing to motivate you. Welcome, dear viewers, to a transformative journey of self-discovery and resilience. In the unpredictable dance of life, there are moments when it doesn't unfold according to our plans. Ever wondered what to do when life takes unexpected turns and doesn't happen the way you envisioned? Today, we delve into this universal conundrum guided by the profound wisdom of Sadhguru. Life's twists and turns can be challenging, yet they offer unique opportunities for growth, learning and resilience. In this video, we'll explore the art of navigating life's uncertainties with grace and embracing the unexpected as a pathway to profound self-discovery. Whether you are grappling with challenges in your personal life, career or relationships, this video is a beacon of guidance to illuminate your path forward. As we embark on this insightful exploration, Sadhguru will unravel the secrets to maintaining inner balance when life throws curveballs. How can we respond with clarity and poise when faced with situations beyond our control? Get ready for a journey that promises to equip you with tools to not only endure life's uncertainties but to thrive amidst them. Buckle up for a ride filled with inspiration, empowerment and a renewed perspective on facing life head-on. Let's embark on this empowering journey together. You should not be a motivated person. Generally, somebody, when we say somebody is motivated, it means they have an agenda of their own. Life has no agenda. It's for you to be a full-fledged life. A grasshopper is trying to be a full-fledged grasshopper. Earthworm is trying to be a full-fledged earthworm. A bird is trying to be a full-fledged bird. A tree is trying to be a full-fledged tree. A human being should strive to become a full-fledged human being. These are all our businesses. But each one of us start creating our own agendas and doing all kinds of things. No, no, you're just a piece of life, don't take yourself too seriously. Because before you and me, countless number of people have come and gone. Hmm? Yes or no? Where are they? All those people. You think they were all idiots? They were all idiots and they died, is it? No, they were also like you, maybe they were also officers, maybe they were kings more than you, all kinds of things, all topsoil now. This will also become topsoil. Just a little bit of time, life is a bit of a sparkle. So all of us will be dead for a very long time. We're alive just for a brief amount of time. Yes, very brief amount of time. We will be dead for a very long time. I want you to look at it in this perspective. How long will you be dead? You can't imagine. So let us say, ten thousand years we are dead, or hundred thousand years we are dead, or a million years we are dead, all right? How long are you alive compared to that? Very, very brief. What you call as life is a brief sparkle. The only thing that you have to do is rise and sparkle as a full-fledged life. When something is needed around us, we will do that naturally because when you're doing wonderfully well, you will do what is needed, isn't it? When you're miserable, you will be motivated. Yes? Tell me, when you're very happy, have you looked at yourself? How nice and wonderful you are, you're willing to do anything for anybody, you bend backwards if necessary, yes or no? When you're little frustrated, woo, how difficult it is. So, don't teach your children to become motivated about something. These are all nonsense that's coming from the West, all those trashy self-help books. Motivate yourself, build confidence, believe in yourself. You believed in God and destroyed so much of this world. Now you believe in yourself, what will you do? All this trash is coming from the West. You don't have to be motivated. 
you just have to see how this is alive to its fullest possible level right now. If it's fully alive, it will do everything that it can do, isn't it? What it cannot do, anyway it will not do. If you watch a bird in the morning, there are birds here, you know. So here if you see a bird, sir, little bird, in the morning, it's doing everything that it can do, isn't it? Hello? Everything that it can do, it will spare nothing. That's all you have to do. Everything that you can do, what you cannot do, perfectly okay. A worm cannot do what a bird does, a bird cannot do what an elephant does, an elephant cannot do what we do, yes or no? But we must be doing what we can do. What we cannot do, it doesn't matter. What we can do must happen. For this, all that's needed is, you must understand life is a very brief sparkle. It's just poop poop and gone. Yes or no? Before you know what's happening, you'll be gone. Unless you're miserable. Miserable people have a long life. Only they feel life is long. If you're very joyful, poof, it'll be gone before you know what's happening. Have you noticed a specific day, you're very happy, twenty-four hours, gone like that. Little miserable, twenty-four hours, feel like ten thousand years. Yes or no? So time is a very relative experience, but if you compare to how long you will be dead, you will be dead for millions of years. You're alive just for a few, little bit. This time, don't be motivated by anything. All that you have to do is you must become a full-fledged life. But now, the way we eat, the way we breathe, the way we do things, and intoxicants and stuff, everything, generally the body wants to die. It doesn't want to be alive. People, you know, it's all from the West, people created this culture, uh, what is that, uh, thank God it's Friday. The statistics show that seventy percent of the Americans hate their jobs, not dislike, hate. Five days if you do something that you hate, I don't know how you enjoy the weekend. All that happens in the weekend is, you're knocked out. You are either drunk or you're drugged or you're indulging in something, okay? Beyond that, no great shakes, joy is happening, all right? Yes or no? Seventy percent of the people hate their jobs. How do you live like this? Why the hell are you doing something that you hate? First of all, if you don't love doing what you're doing, you shouldn't do it, always somebody will do it. Hello? Someone comes to me, <laughs> he's heading a, a multinational company, global CEO. He comes in a distressed state and says, Guru, I can't take this. They're putting so much pressure on me every day, can't take this. Then I look at him, raise my hands and say, may you be fired. Sudhguru, Sudhguru, what are you saying? I said, hey man, you're suffering so much. What is the point? At least if you're fired, you can walk on the beach, huh? Maybe somebody else will do this job little more joyfully than you. You think you're spinning the planet or what? Hello? What is the hardship? Are you spinning the planet? Are you pushing it around the sun? Everything is free, isn't it? <laughs> Hello? Everything is free. All you have to do is be a full-fledged life. Don't constipate yourself with too many ideas, philosophies, belief systems, stupid thoughts and emotions with which you get constipated and become less than who you are. No, you should not ever be less than what you can be, isn't it? You don't have to be as good as somebody else and you can never be because everybody is different. But you should not be less than what you can be. So you don't need motivation for this, you need aliveness. Are you willing to do more when you're happy? Or are, will you, are you willing to do more when you're unhappy? When you're happy, you're willing to do anything that is needed, isn't it? You're willing to forego your food, your sleep and do what you need to do when you're very happy, isn't it? 
when you're unhappy, oh, how hard it is to get anything done from you. Yes or no? In the profound wisdom shared by Sadhguru, he declares that intrinsic significance does not require external motivation. Yet, the inevitable question arises, how do we navigate the challenges when life takes unexpected turns and our best efforts seem to meet with resistance? This isn't just about staying motivated for momentary achievements, but fostering a mindset that perseveres through the highs and lows of life. Sadhguru's profound perspective invites us to embrace challenges not as impediments but as opportunities for growth, ensuring our motivation remains steadfast regardless of external circumstances. Discover the keys to a motivation that goes beyond fleeting desires and taps into a wellspring of strength rooted in the very core of your being. This is another concept which has made its rounds in the world, that something else should motivate you to do what you're doing. If what you're doing is significant enough, you don't need any other thing to motivate you. It's what you're doing is truly significant to life. Why do you need another motivation to make that happen? If… if you really understand and experience that what you are doing is truly important for every life around you, you don't need a motivation, life just goes on. See, does your heart beat need a motivation to keep it going? I'm asking you. All the life processes is not asking for any motivation, isn't it? Monsoon's coming, any motivation? No, it's coming year after year because the natural process is going on. Simply like that, in you and me, life is on. What I'm telling you is, if you're doing something which is aligned with the fundamental life process of who you are, this can find a million expressions, it need not be just spiritual teaching. It can find a million expressions that what you're doing is aligned with your fundamental life process, then you will not need anything to motivate you. Simply, as a part of life, it will just happen. How much you do simply depends on how much time you invested on upgrading yourself. The problem with the world right now is, people are always trying to upgrade their activity. If you upgrade your activity without upgrading yourself, you are bound to break up somewhere. It's like you went on a Formula One track because you want to be on a fast track <laughs> and you went with your Maruti 800. Suppose you hit the right kind of speed, all the four wheels will go in four different directions. It won't hold up. If you want to be in that kind of speed and that kind of track, you must repair the machine. Upgradation of this one is important. If you upgrade yourself, activity will simply happen. Uh, many people around me, uh, you know, many times think I'm superhuman because of that activity that I perform. This is not about being superhuman. If you explore the possibilities of being human, if you explore the possibilities of the immensity of being human, you will realize you don't have to be a superhuman, being human itself is super. So you will not need any external drive or some other inspiration, the very process of life will do it. In these moments of reflection, Sadhguru has illuminated the path to unwavering motivation and the essence of making the most of our lives. Remember that motivation is not solely about achieving external success but about the joy of the process itself. Even when faced with challenges, every step we take contributes to our growth. Just as Sadhguru has shared his wisdom, I encourage you to apply these insights to your daily life. Life is a precious gift and our time here is limited. Embrace every moment, every challenge, every joy and every setback, for it is the full spectrum of experiences that enriches our journey. Just as nature abides in patience and persistence, find your motivation in the unfolding of your own existence. Thank you for joining us today and I invite you to carry the light of Sadhguru's teachings with you guiding your path towards unwavering motivation and a life well lived. If you found this video inspiring, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more wisdom from Sadhguru. As we conclude, 
May your days be filled with the motivation to live your life to the fullest. Namaskaram.